My name is Cece Lopez Diaz Jensen. I'm originally from Miami, Florida, uh, studying political science at <laughs> Okay, I'll redo it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay I'll redo, redo it. Yeah, okay. Um, my name is Cece Lopez Diaz Jensen. I'm originally from Miami, Florida. I'm studying political science at Florida Gulf Coast University, and I am interning with Congresswoman Kathy Castro from District 14 in Florida. So, first question is What inspires you to pursue leadership opportunities? I think what inspires me ultimately um, is my family. I think I have an obligation not only to the sacrifices that my mom has made in coming to this country, but also the sacrifices that my community makes overall each and every single day and trying to continue in a country that ultimately has led with a narrative that isn't very inclusive to them and to their uh, stories overall. So I feel again that I have an obligation to continue as a leader in this country and to mobilize and help others mobilize and find their passion within leadership itself. What tools and resources are going to help you create, a po create positive change in the Latino community? Um, I think my greatest resource is definitely uh, my, my fellow Latinos. I think it's my community overall that one inspires me and also that I'm able to inspire them by vice versa. I think we are the greatest resource in the sense that we remind each other of our origin stories, of our narratives, of why we're doing something. Um, I think it's oftentimes that we lose touch of why we're doing something. We often lose touch of our, our you know, the act of being humble. Um, and I think we remind, remind each other of that and we remind each other of why we're doing things and why we're trying to mobilize and initiate these grassroots movement and trying to make things happen. Why, why do you think it's important for young people to play an active role in politics? I think first and foremost, it's important to introduce new thoughts and ideas. Um, I, as, a, as a Cuban American, I know for sure that um, my generation is very different from the one of my, you know, my parents and my grandparents. Um, and I think w we owe it to ourselves and, and we are entitled to creating that new narrative and creating that new story for ourselves. Things continue to change and our identities continue to develop as well. Um, and so I think we're entitled to that. We're entitled to contribute, and I feel like new and young leadership are, you know, an, a vital part of that overall. What qualities do you think are important in a leader? I think it's a leader who remembers again where they come from. A leader who remembers that they once were in that position uh, that so many other people are in, and that a leader is nothing without the people who have elected them to be there. Um, a leader is only, only goes as far as, as, as the individuals around them. Um, and so I think an important aspect to a leader is definitely just remaining humble, reminding themselves again, why are they there? What is the purpose that they're serving? And that they're serving other people and not just themselves and where they're trying to be ultimately. So what are you personally doing to make the world a better place for your generation? Um, I think ultimately, um, in general, I've been very much involved in grassroots initiatives and with organizations, but it's ultimately aiding others and, and giving them the position or giving space for them to, to you know, voice their opinions and voice their stories overall. I can't represent the story of all Latinos. Latinos were so diverse in, in terms of our experiences. So I think, I guess what I'm doing is ultimately just trying to give space for others to come in and give their opinions and contribute to the conversation and dialogue. These are internship program questions. So what motivated you to apply for the Congressional Internship Program? Well, ultimately, I, I wasn't very much aware about the internship until some uh, other fellow Latino who had applied told me about it. And I thought it was extremely wonderful because I think it's very rare where you get so many Latinos in just one place in, a, in, in the city where all policy happens. And I think a lot of times we believe that these institutions are out of reach. These institutions aren't accessible to us. Um, and so I thought when applying, uh, it was a wonderful idea and, and I really, really loved the concept of it and to be able to apply and be accepted was something that was very, very amazing and fantastic. So, so what has been your favorite part of your internship experience? Um, definitely my cohort. I think we've gotten very, very close. Um, our stories are so different, so different across the board and the diversity of, of opinions and experiences. But um, I think we connect in that our parents have sacrificed a lot. Our communities continues to sacrifice a lot and I think we relate on that. And I think we inspire each other to continue to keep on going, especially when you are the only person in the room who has had that lived experience.
So I think definitely my cohort has been one of my favorite parts in terms of the whole internship process. So how have you grown as a leader over your internship experience? I think, I think a lot of the times uh, individuals as they move up, they lose touch of what keeps them grounded. And I think what I've learned that the best part about a, a true leader is somebody who's authentic and lives their authentic self and their authentic story and narrative um, because that reaches people a lot more than whether you're trying to impress or whether you're trying to lead the group in a direction w where it only serves your own self-interest. When you're authentic and when you really take into account other people's interests and the, the interest overall of the entire group, I think that's when you are a true leader, when you really take into account, again, people's, um, people's interest overall. So I think I've grown in the sense that I value authenticity and I value honesty a lot more, honesty in terms of speaking my truth. Okay. What would you say to someone considering applying to the internship program? To definitely do it. It's really rough <laughs> sometimes when you're here, but it's so, so worth it. You learn uh, so much about yourself. You learn so much about the individuals around you. You get to know a, a wonderful cohort, again, that is so diverse and that is so different across the board, um, but is really wonderful and it's going to challenge you and it's going to put you in a position where you may feel uncomfortable, but it's definitely going to teach you how to grow. And I think uh, I would recommend it to anybody who had potentially the opportunity to apply to definitely do it. And what have you learned here that you can apply back at home? Um, I think it's teaching people that nothing is inaccessible. Again, we come from these communities when, you know, I'm, I'm the first in my family to ever come to D.C. To, to come intern in Congress, and who would have ever thought that? And when I go back home, I want to teach people that same thing, that nothing is inaccessible, that you have the opportunity, and if you put enough effort into it, you can get there. Um, and it's necessary for us to push to getting there, because if not, then who is going to do it? Who, who is going to represent our interest as, a, as the Latino community overall? We need people to go into policy. We need people to go up and intern on the Hill. And so um, I would definitely recommend it back home for anybody to go, go ahead and apply. Thank you. OK, so the last two things we yeah, need you to do. Sorry, I feel like I wasn't answering the questions. <laughs> OK, and I looked there, right? You looked directly into the camera. OK, could you, OK. Oh, okay. Ah! Uh, I don't think I could do it. Okay. This is kind of so, hard. Okay. So I am. I am a congressional internship program participant. I okay. am a congressional internship program participant. And I am here to lead. Okay. I am a congressional internship program participant, and I'm here to lead. Thank you, CHCI. <laughs> oh, thank you, CHCI. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll redo it. I'll redo it. Okay. I am a congressional program internship. Go the first time. No. Okay, go <laughs> I forgot. Can I repeat? Okay, let me let me decide. I am a congressional internship program participant, uh -huh. and I am here to lead. Okay, I am a congressional program. In I am. Con I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I forgot. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Okay, so I just say, what do I say? Thank you, CHCI. Thank you, CHCI. There we go. <laughs> it was a struggle. It was a 